a three by Kelleher. Okay, that's the uh, fifth team foul this quarter. So, uh, Gary Marshall will be going to the line to shoot two under the new rules inst instituted this uh, this year. I so it's the same season. with girls. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Five fouls per quarter gets you to shoot two. One and ones are no longer here. Before when they were shooting, they were shooting too, just... That was foul in the act of shooting. Oh, okay. But so now if you get foul dribbling or anything else, it's, okay. it's still two now. I knew that. I just wanted everyone yeah, to know. Well, that's, that's I, I did I, not. I, 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 knew that, I knew that was what you do, so I played right into it. Yes. We're good. <laughs> Marshall gets one of two. Kind of like good cop, bad cop. <laughs> And if they're fouled in the act of shooting a three, they get three shots, yes. right? Yeah. Should have been a foul anyway before that. I'm getting ahead of myself. Rebel ball on the side. <laughs> What if they were just... We're back live? <laughs> what if they were just thinking about shooting the three? Zach puts it up. Rebound, Lego. Jump ball, this will be Telsat's possession. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have solved our technical difficulties, and we are now on live from Telstar Gymnasium here on the 5th of January, 2024. Woo! And that's a shot for Rose Espinosa. <laughs> this jump ball will be in the possession of the Mustang. Knock out of bounds by the Mustangs and Rebel Ball. Rose Espinosa to inbound for the Rebels. Just over 10 seconds to uh, get the ball in, get a shot off. Oh. That's what they wanted to do, but they didn't do it. Well, I don't think the Rebels are going to get us. Was it a foul or what was it? I thought it was Out a foul. Out of bounds, I think. So they got 0.4 seconds. So don't think it's going to make it much difference. She can't just throw it in from up there, right? No, no, you have to jump up and tip it or something. <laughs> so at the end of the first quarter, the uh, Mustangs of Monmouth, 17, the Rebels of Telstar, 10. This game is brought to you by Western Hills Access Television with a studio located here in Bethel, Maine. 
You can find us on Spectrum channels 11 and 1302 if you're in the local area in West Paris, Woodstock, Bethel, Newry, and Greenwood. Or you can find us on the World Wide Web at westernhillsaccesstelevision.org. And I've heard that uh, you want to watch us on our YouTube page because that's the best. Yeah. I've Plus, you can watch all the reruns. I've heard that the sound quality is better than when it's coming live through Spectrum on, oh, the, yeah? on their television yeah, I, I want to sound the best, yeah. and I can. Yes, because you are the best. <laughs> you are. Just the way you said hello to me tonight was <laughs> so commentarily. <laughs> right. So the Rebels will get the uh, ball to start off the second quarter. How do you, I, I don't know how you throw the ball in to the wrong team like that. Rebound Marshall. Elliott brings it up quickly. Throws Espinosa. On the line, I guess, so out of bounds. It's going to be Mustang Ball. Staying ball. Out of bounds, stays Mustang Ball. Rebound quickly out to pretty White Ball. It's White Ball, yes. <laughs> I had to tell him this time. <laughs> Just to make sure. Boys. Let's go Rebels! They stay in tune with each other too. I'm so <laughs> I'm really impressed. <laughs> They're good. Usually it's the boys from the other teams too that will cheer there. <laughs> be right ball. Nice save by the Mammoth player, but uh, then the ball hit out of bounds, so rebel ball. <laughs> number four, Vivi Charret in the game for the Rebels, replacing number 15, Rose Espinosa. Pass it in.
You know, no one scored yet uh, in over two minutes of this second quarter. It's <laughs> 17 to 10. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Should, shouldn't have said anything. Tape your mouth. Frost with a three. She's getting she's getting mauled there. Pass stolen by Zach. She wants to go in. That one goes. Rebound, Elliot. Zets again. Finally rebounded by yeah, DeHaan and put back. Whoa. I wish Chase had shot that instead of trying to pass it into a crowd. Out of bounds, Rebel Ball. Smith back in the game, along with Katie Campbell, number 12. Zets. She's fouled and the basket's good. That's the third foul on uh, DeHaan. by Marshall. I was just going to say, the boys got to start doing their defense. There they are. Down Zets. She's mauled. Come on. What is going on? Marshall puts up a three. Rebounded by Elliott. She's fouled. I think this is the first time I've seen her play in a long time because I she missed play, her. She didn't play last year, did she? she I think she, she got hurt, yeah. yeah. 
and I wasn't here for one of the girls' games. Or any of the girls' games yet. I think one. Before this is only the second one I think we've done, isn't it? Before she played. I don't know. I, I think they had one and she didn't play. I'm not sure. But nice to see her out there. I always enjoyed watching her play. Zets rebound. Shot. It was a three by Kelleher, I believe. Come on, girls, it's only five baskets. You got time to do that. Or maybe less. Less baskets. Marsha with the set. Rebound set. Basket is good at a foul. So, Jewel, can you She's guess like what a foul the, magnet. Can you guess what the uh, play is for the Rebels? The score? What? Pass it into Zets? Oh, okay. Yeah, because she's back under her Yes, especially to Zets, because then she'll draw a foul. <laughs> Get a basket, draw a foul. Throws Espinosa and Chase back in the game for Smith and I think Campbell. Burgess has got that one. Rolls Espinosa dribbles it off for her leg, goes out of bounds. I don't know what they're serving out in that booster's booth, but it smells good in here. Well, it's nothing like cooks for supper, I don't think, so. <laughs> Lego in for Marshall. Three by Frost. Another one by 
Frost. Frost. And three by Kelleher. So that was a disastrous uh, last about 30 seconds for the Rebels. Yeah. They now are trailing by 17, 39-22. I know, just shortly ago it was 10. So we'll be back in uh, about 10 minutes to bring you the second half.
Second half between the Telstar Lady Rebels and the Mustangs of Monmouth. I'm Wayne Howe, and with me on camera is Jewel Clark. Our next game is tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon when the Telstar JV boys take on, I believe, Mount Abram, if I wrote that down right. Yes, at 1 o'clock. For the varsity to follow at 2.30. Well, the Rebels were hanging in there down about 10 until about the last 30 seconds of the second quarter. It was and disastrous. Then there was a three point barrage by the Mustangs. Got it out by Rose Espinosa. 
Brooksy. Is he bored? Does he want to do it? Are you bored? Do you want to do any filming? Well, I think the Re Rebels got away with one that time. Five chances on that. Didn't get any, but. Gee. But Zets goes to the line to shoot two. Fouls on Reese Bedoin. both. Nice job, Rose Espinosa jumping in the passing lane. Pass comes in to Zets. Rebounded Marshall, put back. Woo! Sarah Chase gets called for the foul for the Rebels. Her first. Cross the inbound. And Rose Espinosa gets called for that foul. Her first. Marshall gets called for that foul. The Rebels picked up three fouls very quickly. And that it's Marshall's a, first foul. That is not a good thing. Riley Chase on the line, makes her first one. And the second one. I don't understand this. I know one team is much more aggressive than the other. But I don't think it's being called evenly. But that's just my opinion. That's very tactful. That's just my opinion. That's very tactful the way you put it, Wayne. I don't feel like being tactful at all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Another bad pass. Boy, if the Rebels could change one thing to be in this game, it would be their passing. Yes. And I'll give Monmouth credit. They're making the passes obviously very difficult. But sometimes they're just passing into a group instead of actually to a, an open person. Now, see, she was fouled right there. That was a reach-in foul. Wow. Behind, number three. Jump ball, rebel possession. Into Elliott. Why not? I mean, to Zets. Yeah, that was Sarah Chase. Her first two points of the game. Pascal's ahead to Elliott. I see that. Woohoo! Woohoo! To Zets. Marshall. For a second. First what? For a second. Yeah. 
Burgess makes both. Marshall takes the ball out for the Rebels. Her first. Let's go, Rebels! 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 Let's go, Lego in the game? No. Smith in the game. The Rebels. I didn't get that call. Did you get that call? No. No. I was just thinking about what you said earlier about some of the calls. The defensive pressure by Seth causes the turnover. She's playing it with her feet. Yeah. Now, see, she puts a body on her. on Smith, her first. <laughs> Looks like Riley Chase on the line. To shoot two. Frosty inbound for the Mustangs. Rebound picked up by Rosa Spinoza. I don't know. 
jump ball stays Monmouth possession. Like that. I'm going to rip that ball right out of your hands, but I'm going to help you up. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Ask my Burgess. Ah. <laughs> Three by Marshall's no good, but rebounded by Zex to put back. Jump ball, this possession will go to the Rebels. They're all nice anyway. <laughs> Ball is on parody, be rebel ball. Just under 30 seconds left in this third quarter. Brought to you by Western Hills Access Television with the studio located in Bethel, Maine. You can watch us worldwide on the web on at Western Hills Access Television.org. Check out our YouTube page. Or if you live in the local area, you can watch us on channels 11 and 1302 on your spectrum dial. Well, we do have a game. Two games tomorrow, Saturday, 1 o'clock, the uh, Davy Boys will play Mount Abram, followed at 2.30 by the Varsity Boys. Next week, we have one game, which is the uh, high school girls will be playing Lisbon. That's on the 9th. And I'm really not sure what the time is on that. But I think they'll have one Team, so probably it's at 6.30, but I don't think my, my schedule says it. Tuesday night is the ninth? That's Tuesday, yes. Who's, who was talking? Oh, what? Okay, now who's the foul on? Okay. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm sorry. You need not be sorry, Wayne. <laughs> you have a right to your own I mean, I, mean, I mean, you could see it, you could hear the tap with the ball. Oh, my word. Two more. We have a 
different perspective up here on our high horses. <laughs> Rosa Spinoza gets it head to Zets. possession. Traveling the call, Rebel Ball. Ball comes to Lego. And Taja Lego gets fouled. So she'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Fouls on Dehan, her fourth. Chase track down that loose ball, gets back to Zetz, Zetz puts it up, he gets fouled. Put it up.
Fouls on Marshall, her third. Burgess on the line, shooting her second. Coach Molly Menis calls for a full timeout. out of bounds, the white ball. It's okay, you don't have to look now. Well, I don't know for Still sure, but I believe at least six. Come in. Foul was on Frost, her third. Chase back in for the Rebels, replacing Smith. Number 10, Kelleher. <laughs> nice inbounds pass. The chase, that's the wrong chase. 
Well, of course, you have to travel and get abs all over you, but that's just my opinion again. This is ridiculous. Your opinion, your opinion. This is a bit ridiculous. I guess it matters to me, but I guess not to them. <laughs> Now that's going to put Zets on the line because now it's going to be five foul shots, not five fouls for the quarter. <laughs> Fouls on Riley Chaser, third. gets her own rebound, no good. Jump ball, the monolith possession. No good. She gets her own rebound. Yeah. Oh, it was Espinosa with the foul. Chase comes out for the Rebels. And Eddie Kimball goes in.
Two more and a foul. That's good. Number five, Riley Cooper in for the Rebels. Replacing Rose Espinosa. the two minutes left in this game. Marshall passes into Zets. For two more. Now who's going to call for that? I want to see that. Oh, fuck her. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's I'm going to run it back. Okay. Yeah, you, you better run it back. <laughs> Can you call KSR, please? <laughs> oh. We're going to show oh, you something. Oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> Has her fourth foul. It's just going to be a different perspective down there. Something we're not it's, seeing. It's got to be. I guess I'm not back two to the game or something. I mean, I can't get it. Okay. That Enough was of that. good way. Enough of that. <laughs> Wayne refs back two. <laughs> Sounds like a children's book. <laughs> Jump ball, Rebel possession, under 50, well, yeah, I was going to say under 50, you know, under a minute to go. <laughs> Haley Rooney in the game now for the Mustangs. Well, not yet. And number 13, Emma McPherson now in for the Rebels.
up a possession with 8.1 seconds left in the game. Final score of this game, Mama's Mustang, 74, Delta Rebels, 46. Some happy girls down there. Unofficial scoring for the Rebels and a very unbalanced scoring. 37 points for Morgan Zetz, followed by Karen Marshall with three, Rose Espinosa and Mackenzie Elliott with two each. Oh, and Sarah Chase had two. Sorry about that. So that uh, brings us to the end of this game. Uh, tune us in tomorrow at 1 o'clock. We'll have the boys versus Mount Abram at 1 o'clock. So, see you then. <laughs>